Hello Windows experts, today we're going to talk about Windows 7 and you saw a footage laptop crash of Windows 7 I know it's my old laptop and I started up and BAM! A blue screen of that Yeah, we are here for the information of the operating system Windows 7 Windows 7 is an operating system that is released by Microsoft it is released for manufacturing on July 22, 2009. General available on October 22, 2009. The last release of Windows 7 was also on February 22, 2011. So 22 is, uh, yeah, a favorite number of uh, Windows 7. The end of support date was this year. I uploaded a video about goodbye Windows 7, but you can still use it three years. It still has security updates. But the meaning of Windows 7 was to repair all the uh, claims of Windows Vista. Windows Vista was a bad operating system. And Microsoft wanted to improve that mistakes in Windows Vista. They wanted better reviews of operating system because they uh, respected a lot of Windows Vista. But yeah, Windows Vista failed. But Windows 7 did not, it was one of the most popular operating systems in the history of Microsoft Windows. Until 2017 was it the pop most popular operating system, it means 8 years of holding the title. And nowadays still 20% of all, all computer users and users Windows 7. Originally it is called Blackcomb, the code name. But yeah, Blackcomb was uh, a project after Windows XP and it failed because uh, Windows Longhorn came as Windows Vista but that project failed and yeah, it was just called Blackcomb. Yeah, Windows Vista had uh, secure uh, performance issues so they wanted to repair it. So they call a new project that yeah, Blackcomb and uh, on July 20, 2007 the name Windows 7 was released. So a lot of developers uh, worked on it, like thousand developers. They reworked the uh, taskbar a bit, they made it bigger, as you can see the difference. You have better um, settings in files, so it's easier to use. Uh, a lot of uh, complaints about allegedly sites, because they leaked some Windows 7 previews, so yeah, that was not the meaning. of the operating system is a touch and handwriting recognition. You have a new program, it's here. Support for virtual hard disk and you think of, yeah, virtual box. So yeah, game console on the computer. It can be on Windows 7. Control panel is improved with more settings. Windows Media Player is updated and you still got that Windows Media Player nowadays. Because it's never updated because of the new video function of Windows 8. Sounds, use the startup sounds. And the shutdown sound. And you have 30 teams, and you might know that because uh, when I was a child, I switched off teams on the computer, and you can download teams on the internet. And um, change your interface completely so that it's not fine. You have USB free support and uh, you have Internet Explorer is updated. You have jump list so you can switch from uh, program. If you click on the icon on the taskbar you can switch uh, to another tab. There are also some features removed like the classic start, start menu, ink ball, that game where you have to lead the ball to the gap and we have uh, some programs that is uh, yeah, converted to Windows Live Essentials. Okay, you have uh, various editions of Windows 7. You have the Home Premium, Professional, the Ultimate, the Enterprise, the Starter and the Home Basic. 
Uh, the system requirements of the operating system is the uh, processor needs a gigahertz of one. Uh, the random access memory is required of one gigabyte. Uh, you need a uh, storage of 60 gigabyte for 32 bit and 20 gigabyte for 64 bit. And the installation it is available on a DVD or on a USB. The rating of the operating system was really good. Uh, out of 5 stars, 4.5 by CMET. It was a big improvement. Like the Windows Vista was, yeah, yeah the sales were really bad because uh, Windows 7 uh, took the users of Windows Vista 70 weeks after the release. So that's in 2010. There were 90 million uh, users out of 10. So yeah, that's really much. So it's a really popular operating system we could all remind of and we could say rest in peace. So I had my old laptop and here is Windows 7 on. So we can do this in real life, not on a virtual disk. So we can do it. <laughs> So in the beginning is the computer crash when you start it up in a normal mode. So uh, yeah, you see that blue screen of that. So I had to uh, start it up in the safe mode. And yeah, that's another uh, activity on the computer where you can yeah load your computer safely. And you see the startup screen around here. And we are welcoming in. Windows 7. This is by the way all Dutch because my laptop is just Dutch because I'm Dutch. So you see Dutch text. So you see uh, save mode, everything is big and you have the classic mode. So you see at first the help center. So you can ask things if you are uh, yeah, competing with things on Windows 7. So you see a lot of icons, yeah I had a lot of programs and application on Windows 7 and you see a lot of yeah rubbish I think <laughs> and then we're gonna start up paint paint is uh, yeah a little bit refurbished uh, the tools are uh, yeah above the screen now and you have new tools so that's really cool so you see that I draw and yeah just uh, something and yeah these effects are totally new in Windows 7 What you also see is uh, when you open the tab and you see icons before text so it's clear where you're clicking on and I save it in the uh, file manager. As you look at the start menu you see all the programs, uh, less used programs on the left side and you can also search for programs if you type something in. So that's uh, really easy to use and you see at the right side just some fast settings where you can go to the file manager and you can open to documents, favorites, yeah it is all sorted and you also have one drive that's also an ability on Windows 7. So it's all overviewed in icons and you can, it is easy to use. That's also a great update of Windows 7. And you see also the disks that are inserted or inside the computer. So you see how much uh, storage that got and how much uh, room in the CD and what kind of CD it is or device. And you can also go to downloads where you can see the latest downloads you download on the internet. And you can also search for things that is easy for use if you want to search for something. So yeah, I'll, I'll use uh, an example of Windows, which I uh, used a lot of on this PC. So, if we go to the games, you have also games on Windows 7, which is also converted from Windows Vista. You have various games, the most games are online, so I couldn't play it. And some games, yeah, you can't play it in a safe mode, so I had a problem. So yeah, I couldn't start up a game, so I can't show something. As I said, the control panel had more settings and more, yeah, 
settings uh, than Windows Vista. So you see an uh, overview of all the settings you can yeah, just adjust on the system. So like uh, graphical or the system or if you want to add a device. Yeah, and the test bar for example. And you can also uh, adjust the, the screen and the yeah, size of the screen as you can see here. Already everything, every application of Windows 7 is on the internet, so I tried to start up internet. But I uh, see that the save mode couldn't work on internet. So, and I also tried to start up Internet Explorer, it is out of the system now, but yeah, no internet. Okay, uh, many viewers of me love the Windows Media Player, because it's out of, yeah, the applications you can use it because it's for the TV and you have many other applications on the TV so yeah this is the Windows Media Player it's still working on the save mode okay and we also have which thing I love of Windows 7 is all overview if you want all the programs it's not on an annoying uh, tab but you can just open it and as our movie maker it can open Sadly, but yeah, it's in the save mode, so yeah, I couldn't have to choose because of the damage of the laptop. And yeah, it's really easy to yeah search for something. And you can also check the date and the time. And yeah, if you are stuck in the system, you can just open the help center and they can help you with your problem if you have the internet, by the way. Okay, we are done with it. I think Windows 7 is a really good operating system, so yeah, I recommend it uh, as the most popular, or most, or yeah, best operating system. Uh, I use it a lot uh, for my projects in school and other things for fun, and also other things. So I give, um, I think, uh, Windows 7 a good rating. But this laptop is damaged. I'm sorry. But Windows 7 is by far one of the most past, most yeah, fast operations. So I'm glad with it. And I hope to see you next time at the Windows 8 operating system review. And I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs>